Hi guys, so for the last week or so I've been printing with the 3D Printworks Elefilament Passionate Purple PLA and as you can see I've printed quite a few things and even to the point that one of the prints that I did which is this uh, Stormwind from uh, Yuka Seppanen Stormwind Lion Statue this was actually featured along with a couple of others that I printed was featured by Simplify 3D as a print of the week so obviously that was quite pleasing um, I think that the results are pretty good but we'll come to that just shortly as usual in these cases it's uh, always good to to get the uh, the basics out up front which is the fact that I paid for this with my own money there's no uh, money exchanged hands this isn't going to be a review I don't think that I've got the technical knowledge to uh, to talk about the uh, the strengths and, and weaknesses uh, technically of the filament so I'll leave that to the likes of uh, of Tom 3DP and this will be more talking about my experiences with it and how I how it's printed which I think is pretty good so I tried going back online um, to to double check on the on the numbers for this unfortunately at the moment the passionate purple is out of stock uh, but just giving a, a, a comparative cost, so the, the Sunny Yellow PLA from 3D Printworks is currently, um, I've made myself notes, uh, it's currently on a spool, costs £18.99 pounds. on a refill is £14.99, pounds. so that's, I, I guess, that £4 of a difference probably relates to about six pounds, six dollars something like that, uh, US dollars, uh, something in that region. So, uh, I a good saving from that point of view as well and obviously there's all of the uh, the soft benefits that come with that. So going back to talk about 3D Printworks uh, themselves, so this as I say is the Ella Filament PLA and uh, they are just uh, I guess uh, from where I am now they're about 50 minutes down the road from me in, uh, in Scotland so I, I kind of feel a little bit of an affinity towards them because uh, unless anybody can tell me that somewhere in Ayrshire there is a filament manufacturer they are the closest ones to me which obviously means that I was interested in trying out their, their offerings so uh, I've tried a couple before the uh, the Red Sparkle PLA was the, the first one I tried uh, it, is an, it is okay, it's a nice filament, it prints really well to be fair and the, the only thing I guess from my point of view is that I'm used to the kind of filamentum and protopasta where they, there is, you know, glitter. The, uh, this is more of a, it's a very subtle sparkle, there's very um, subtle number of um, glitter flakes in here, I guess. Um, so this, and also I think the other thing that, that I thought, it wasn't, it, it's really nice, but it wasn't quite what I was, uh, what I was looking for. So this is printed as uh, in vase mode, so that's a single perimeter. And you can see that it looks, hopefully, um, certainly does to me, it looks very pink when it's in a single perimeter. So when I printed this vase, funnily enough, I didn't print it in vase mode. I actually put three perimeters in there just to get that, that red. As I say, really good, uh, prints really well. Um, this is another vase that I did there, again with three perimeters just to give it a bit of strength. So I said, I've tried it out. I've also used in work, I, I've got the um, black and white PLAs that I've used at work. The real advantage um, to it, I guess, for certainly in the UK, is the fact that it's actually really cheap. So it's it, it's good quality filament. It's it works really well, but it's it comes, uh, I, I, you know, the the low end of the price bracket. So for less than twenty UK pounds, it, you can get seven hundred fifty grams up to a kilogram, depending on which filament it is. Uh, and I think that's really good value. Puts it in the same sort of market as ice filaments and, and Hobby King, those sort of filaments that, that again you can get really good, really good quality with. So um, it, for me, it's going to be down to the range of colours, and they do have quite a good range. Like, one thing I think when you, you're looking at the kind of lower end um, price end of the market uh, is that it does enable you to buy more filament when you first get into 3D printing. Um, but ultimately, it's you know the proof of pudding's in the, in the printing, and if the filament prints well, then there's no reason for you not to carry on using it. And I think in this case, I think you can see that it, it does print really well. So uh, I've been really pleased with that. With each order that I've placed with uh, 3D Printworks, I've got been sent a sample. So this is an example of what they. It's a one that I haven't used yet. That's a solid silver. So comes in a nice bag and that's about the, the kind of 
And if you've got this one, I have used, it's kind of uh, printed on there. So that's the gold, the glam gold. And as I say, the, uh, it's good that you get that. You, you get the option to look at kind of the other um, the other colours in their range. So that's real. That's a, a real nice touch, I think. And um, this was another, again, one of the samples that they sent, which is the pine green PLA. And this was a, a little model that I quickly did on uh, at Easter, having played with the with the kids painting eggs in the morning and realised that uh, they wobble about a bit and it wasn't that easy to to make feet for a little monster egg. So I just printed that one, and again, you know, printed it perfectly well. Okay, so coming back to the the actual refill uh, filament itself. So so this is the packaging now. The one the uh, the one here. Wasn't quite well as wet um, on the bag as that, but that helps to, to keep it all um, tight and, and strong. So the spool comes, uh, as you see, the, the, there will be three cable ties on that, so they hold it together. If you just look at the back there, you can actually see where the cable ties are. That holds it all well together, so that's um, really well worked. And the idea is that it fits onto the, the spool. Uh, fits onto the master spool and then you just screw this together and when you've done that uh, another nice touch I guess from uh, from these guys is they're actually uh, using reusable cable ties so the idea then is that you just undo the cable tie you can pull it off and um, the theory is that when you 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 know you part use the the spool that you can actually put the the cable ties back on so the the master spool is designed to allow that to easily be done so along with this, unfortunately I've misplaced this, but um, there comes an A4 sheet that explains the master spill concept and the process for using the actual refill, which I think is a really good addition. The other good thing on, on this bag is that you cut that along that line. That is actually a resealable bag. So you can put the, uh, the spill back in there if you, if you so wish. On to looking at the actual prints themselves. As you can see, there's a, a, a range of prints that I've done. All of these, with the exception of just one, were all printed at 210 degrees on the nozzle, and the majority of them were kind of two or three perimeters. And depending on the model, they were either, they either had the infill, 15% is kind of the usual maximum that I would go to. Um, most of them, to be fair, were printed with no infill whatsoever. So, um, which allows you to eke it out a little bit and print more for, uh, for the purposes of this, I guess, for, for showing it off. So, I've printed a few different ones then. That I've, there's a lot of my own models here, obviously, uh, for obvious reasons. Um, I will find the links for, for these and put them in. This was uh, one of Thingiverse, and it's just a, a Keering fish fossil or something like that it's called. Obviously, the 3D Benchy, which is a, a you know, it, it's printed really well, uh, as, I've, as I would expect. Uh, for a, a decent filament, so yeah, that's it's done a really good job and, and looks really nice. These were all printed on the Prusa i3 Mark IIs, and uh, as I say, I, I'm really happy with all of the results. So a couple more different um, designers. Obviously, there's Yuka Seppinen, and there's two of his models there. Uh, Augustine Floristic is German Shepherd dog, which I, I love, and then there is. Fernando Hearth, little Astro family, I uh, printed which I really like. There's the dog. Um, apologies for murdering everybody's names, I've no doubt done, but um, I will leave the links down below so you can get them right and, uh, and, and go and print these models yourselves. But uh, I think all of these are really good. I will, of course, put some close-ups in the uh, in the video just to uh, to give you an idea but you can see that the the finish hopefully you can see there is, is really nice really smooth so all of these were printed as i say at 210 degrees on the nozzle with the exception of this one here that blocked out on the uh, bottom was 195 degrees and to be honest I don't see a great deal of difference um i was wondering whether with the uh, the shine would reduce slightly at a lower temperature but both seem to, uh, to have printed really well. It's, admittedly, it's a small model, so maybe not giving uh, a real good uh, view. So uh, overall, as I say, I was I've been really pleased with the, with the results, and this is another one of my rockets, which um, again, nice and smooth, no issues. The pretty sure that everything 
more or less on here was printed at 0.15 layer heights, which is a bit of a sweet spot for the Prusa. All of them sliced in Simplify 3D as usual, and I think all did a great job. So I'm overall really pleased. This um, as my little Whittle Starfighter, printed at 50% scale, and the canopy is obviously in glam gold. Uh, overall, couldn't be happier really with the with the quality of the prints. They've uh, they've all printed really well, came out really nicely. All I can say is that if you want to print stuff like this, if you um, certainly feel like this, that I can recommend uh, the filament. I know that Jeffrey Wright of the Print 3D channel, he has reviewed the filament and he has a couple more standard tests that he does every time. I'll uh, I'll include a link to to that as well, just so that you can uh, you can go and and see. You know, it's not just me bigging them up because they're in Scotland and not quite uh, not far away from me, but. As I say, from my point of view, certainly at the at the price that the price point that they're at, uh, if you're in the UK, I would urge you to give them a try. The uh, the film is really good. The value uh, speaks for itself at the at the price that the that they're charging. So all that remains is for me to thank you for watching. I really do appreciate you taking the time to listen to me ramble on. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and. Also, if you like the content and you like, you'd like to see more, then by all means hit the subscribe button. I would really appreciate that, honestly. Um, so thanks a lot and I'll catch you next time, guys.